we put one screw in place and tighten it up gently. You don't have to tighten it all together yet. But once we know that's in place, the propeller will stay together. Then I'll tighten all six of the screws. Once all six screws are inserted, go through and tighten up all of the screws to make sure they're fully, fully tightened up. Once the once everything is tightened and 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 in, in place, move the propeller blades to make sure that they rotate smoothly all the way from forward to reverse. There shouldn't be any hard spots in the rotation that you can't push through with just one finger. If you're having to grab the propeller and rotate it, then you've got a hard spot in there that's not going to allow the propeller to feather. So just grab the trailing edge with a couple fingers and you should be able to rotate it all the way from forward to reverse. Once you've checked to make sure that the propeller works properly, then it's time to put in the cotter pins to secure the, the, secure the screws. All the cotter pins will be one, about one inch long when you receive them. What you want to do is cut them down to where the entire cotter pin, including the looped head, is about a quarter of an inch long. Just pair, take a pair of side cutters and cut them down to where they're about one quarter of an inch long. At that point, insert the pin into the hole of the set screw or of the screw. The bolts are all tightened up. You want to set the set screw into the hole in the head of the screw just like this so that the head is protruding out and the two ends are within the hole inside the screw. Place a, a nut or a screw at the outside of it pounding on the head of this head of the the cotter pin by t pounding on it it will spread out the legs of the cotter pin opening up so that they won't the cotter pin will not fall out and the screws will not loosen up after doing all six of the cotter pins the propeller is ready to go